this poultry business I started it like a joke. I didn't expect much. But to my amazement, like the cock I'm carrying right now, this cock goes at 700. And I don't even go and look for somebody to come for it because there is that market. Yeah. Teresa Atieno is a member of the Young Sisters Mungano group in Kamser village, Homa Bay County in western part of Kenya. The group was formed so that the 20 members could benefit from a training on poultry farming through a farm organization called Great Wang Cheng Farmers Investment Company Limited. The trainings were conducted by Animal Welfare and Public Health, AWAF. Before the training, Teresa had given up keeping poultry because the chicken often died whenever there was an outbreak of diseases like the Newcastle disease. I lost 200 out of 300 birds at one month. So the challenge was, I was to administer the vaccine, but I didn't have that capital. So I was just hoping that I would get that money and bring the vaccine, then the disease popped in. So it cleared 200 birds at one month. After the training on poultry disease management, Teresa realized the importance of vaccinating her chicks and followed the vaccination requirements. After selling my 100 bags, I again took 300, of which I followed the vaccination schedule properly and I had no loss. The brooding was 99%. I sold my 300 bags. This opened a new window of opportunity for Teresa as she started brooding and selling the chicks to other farmers. She also became a vaccinator. She started getting the Newcastle disease and other poultry vaccine from Great Wang Cheng Farmers Investment Limited, which is offering the services to the farmers through a program initiated by AWAF and supported by government, a non-profit organization. They knew very well they should vaccinate their chicks, but nobody was there to help them. So I took that initiative that apart from brooding, then I should also take this one now as a business whereby if I can get the vaccines from the Great One team, then I uh, arrange with the farmers, then I go and do them vaccination and they give me something on top. The Great One Chain Farmers Investment Company Limited also has a community bank where farmers can access loans and save money to grow their poultry business. The company was formed in partnership with the Technoserve, a non-profit organization. Government and AWAF introduced the vaccination component to stop poultry losses. This is a bank that was started by the poultry farmers. Though the bank does not lock any other people doing uh, different kind of business because now we encourage the, even the fisher folk, the border border people to come and join so that we can expand the, the business. When a farmer wants to acquire birds, they can still apply for a loan, get day-old birds, brood them to maturity, then they can sell. Still, they are able to borrow loans to supplement their feeding and also vaccination of these birds. So that at the end of the day, the birds don't die because they lacked feeds or they lacked vaccination. So we find that they go hand in hand. As long as the farmer is doing good production of chicken, the bank is also going to benefit. Because through the loans we get the interest that the farmer expects at the end of the year to get dividends from us through buying more shares. Teresa walks me through some of the poultry farmers she has helped to acquire the chicks, vaccines and the market for their poultry business. At the moment we are at the home of Irene Anyango Gindo, who is one of our active farmers. She embraced the idea of poultry keeping. I advised her correctly. She took uh, some loan from the Great One Ching. So she decided to purchase some chicks. So I helped her on the part of uh, brooding. Uh, and after one month, I gave her the chicks. She took uh, around 150 chicks from me. And then uh, by then, I had given them the, 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 the fourth vaccination, which was the NCD. There was some days back there when there was outbreak for uh, the disease for, that kills a lot of birds around our place. And even our neighbors, they lost all their birds. And with that we survived because we went and vaccinated all the, the birds and we were keeping them away from the affected birds. And for that, 
we were lucky to find our birds alive and we didn't lose any. This is Alice Onyach at Cheng's house in Simbi Nyaima village. Alice is not at home because she has just taken some mature cocks to the market for sale. Teresa explains how she has helped Alice succeed in her poultry business. The hens have started laying and she's collecting eggs. So this is a portion for today. They have managed to collect but a few. <laughs> By December, she sold some, uh, some cocks. And even at the moment as we are speaking, she has an order of, of uh, 10 cocks of which we have just seen outside there. All this success attributed to the importance of vaccinating birds. If I, I get a linkage of market, I'll not just keep quiet that me, I don't have that stage. I'll just say, yes, you can get that number, you just come. Then you go and talk, we, we agree then. The person gets the money, and uh, when he gets that money, maybe he has the, 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 the two months or the three months. Meaning after selling that, he will need a one month old, or which that money will just come back. 